Hello everyone, it's me Carissa and welcome back to my channel Carissa Sims. Today I'm doing another EA renovation video of a house that was in Windenburg called ha Havisham? Havisham House? I'm not sure how to say that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I end up taking it from like a super boring starter home that was like honestly kind of hideous. No, <laughs> no offense! Yay, but like, ew, what are you doing? <laughs> but we made it better. So I kept the shape. I moved the actual house like over on the lot because I didn't like where they had placed it. And I rotate it as well. Like, I'll get to that in a second on here, but I end up rotating it and changing the style completely. So like right now it's kind of, I don't know what style you would have called it. Bad, I don't know, not cute. But then I end up making it a kind of like an industrial vibe. It's definitely not a starter home anymore. It's way more expensive. <laughs> I went a little bougie with it by accident. Oops. Oops, I accidentally got bougie. We're not going to talk about what my hair is doing today. Pay, pay no mind. Uh, so I end up doing this like brick exterior and I think I do exposed brick on the inside as well because who doesn't love a good exposed brick uh, I haven't rotated it yet but I will momentarily I, I know that I do it's been a while since I recorded this I don't remember but since recording this the new pack has come out Sims 4 my wedding stories which is a game pack right I, I'm I know my Sims things. I'm Carissa Sims. Yes, it's a game pack. Um, there was a lot of drama surrounding the pack, as I'm sure many of you saw on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, wherever you get your Sims news. But I did obtain and play the new pack, and it is definitely not finished. I'll say that for sure because a lot of the mechanics of the new gameplay were just not functioning so if you're watching this and you're considering getting a new pack I would suggest waiting a little bit until either they fix whatever they need to with an upcoming patch or until it goes on sale because it's it is cute it's fun and I like it and I have I'm having a good time with it it's just so much of it doesn't work and that's story of every new sims pack but if you're like just in it for like the fashion and the build by and like you're not in it for the gameplay aspect, like go for it. There's not that much stuff um, in build by. There's like a pretty good amount in debug, but like the actual like items that came with the pack, like non debug ones, eh, it's kind of lacking honestly. But I have a problem where I have to get every single pack or I will die probably. So, you know, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. <laughs> but like I said, I don't think it's done yet. So maybe if you want a game that actually works, just like wait a little bit and maybe they'll be able to fix it. I know a lot of people were having, they were having a problem where they couldn't complete the wedding at all. And it's like a pack about weddings. So that's like a little bit ridiculous. Like, hello, Sims. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, who do you think you are? And third of all, rude. But again, I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised because this is, I think this happens every single time we get a pack with more gameplay in it. There's always like a, an abundance of issues that have to be either rapidly patched or they're just never fixed. <clears throat> Dine out. <clears throat> <laughs> Not to point fingers or anything. Anyway, enough trash talking EA, my favorite activity. Uh, in this, I end up doing a master bedroom and then a second bedroom that are almost equal in size. Except the second bedroom doesn't connect to the bathroom. So it's like technically not the master bedroom, but you feel, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's like the same size. So I feel like this would be a really good house for two sims or a couple or two couples or something like that like either with a kid or two sims who are like roommates and they were roommates like in college that would be cute little college roommates section you know what i mean words are hard i don't know what i'm saying my hair is stressing me out 
and it's distracting me from what I'm trying to say. I picture like young adults living here. I don't really picture it with kids, but you could easily make the second bedroom into like a kid's room, teen's room, or like even multiple kids if you put in the bunk beds. Like very easy to do. It's got a ton of space. Like you could even like make more than two bedrooms if you really wanted to. They'd be they'd be kind of small, but this house is easy to expand on, I think. Just because of the way it's built, you can easily add on rooms without messing up the other stuff, which is nice. The kitchen ends up being smaller than I had wanted it to be, but when I do a renovation on a lot that was like an EA house, I always try not to mess with the structure. So I try to keep the wall, the exterior walls the same and just change the interior with the layout and the stairs and all that. But I try to keep the outside the same shape because then I feel like if you're changing the outside shape and adding rooms and stuff, it goes from like a renovation to just like a total, like a redo and it's like not the same thing. Like, yes, it looks totally different, but if you look at it from the, the angle it was at, it's the same shape. So I don't know, that's just how I do renovations. I like to give myself like challenges just to see if I can do it like within the space that was provided. Uh, I put a little bathroom right here because I thought it was cute. Right off the kitchen, which weird, I know. Do, do, you, do people usually have bathrooms right off their kitchen? Do I have a bathroom? I mean, there's a bathroom that connects to the main area that connects to the kitchen, I guess. It's, it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy, I don't think, maybe. Comment below, do you have a, a bathroom connected to your kitchen? <laughs> so I, I'm going for like an all black, like industrial, modern kind of vibe with like a little little pop of color here and there, like on the sink. That's the sink from Eco Lifestyle, I believe. And it has like the glass part on it, but it looks blue to me. A lot of times the glass in this game gives a lot of blue. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? You Like the city living windows that were like blue, but they were supposed to be like glass. The windows and doors, a lot of stuff in city living ended up blue and it was supposed to be glass. Anyway, but it's not the point. <laughs> so I put the kitchen here in this little corner. I ended up making it smaller because I felt like I had way too many counters and it was just unnecessary, which ever since Tiny Living came out, I've been doing smaller kitchens, which I know Tiny Living has been out for a long time, but like before that pack existed, I would always do a massive kitchen. I don't know why, I just, I couldn't help myself. But like now, like after playing with Tiny Living and trying to make as tiny of a house as possible, I'm always like, why do I need more than one counter? You only need one counter to chop stuff on, and you can do it in like a corner counter, so you can even like smush it into the corner if you really wanted to, and still be able to fit the sink and the stove and the dishwasher and all that good stuff. And I always forget the trash can. Look, I remembered it. Self high five. Go me. 10 points for me. I literally forget it every time. I, I feel like everyone has those few things that they forget when they're building. Mine is kitchen trash can, outside trash can, mailbox, uh, thermometer, is that thermometer? Thermostat. I always forget to do the thermostat. And then I'm like, why are my Sims cold? What are they bitching about? And then I'm like, wait, <laughs> that's right. They don't have air conditioning. I too would be bitching if I didn't have heating or air conditioning, especially when it's freezing as hell like it is today. Uh, so I brought in the kitchen a little bit using these counters from Dream Home Decorator. As you know, if you have watched my videos or my streams, I'm obsessed with Dream Home Decorator. I don't know what it is. There's something about those items that just fit so well in so many different styles of houses. And especially in the styles that I like to do. It's just, just chef's kiss. So good. So I made a little separation here because I, I liked the open floor concept, but it was like too open and it just felt kind of incomplete. So I add this wall here to like separate it out. And on the other side of the wall, I end up adding um, mm, orger heart, an office, 
little tiny office nook with some books in there. So like, I feel like someone who lived in this house, the Sim who lived here would be a graphic designer or a fashion stylist or like a social media influencer because it's, it's very hip and like working from home modern professional vibes, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna like watch this video in 10 years and think I'm just absolutely ridiculous calling this modern. I'm calling it right now. 10 years in the future me, when I'm 35 years old, I'm gonna look back at this. Someone, someone like mark this in the video so I remember. <laughs> and if I really do, good for me. I, I mean, that is if the world doesn't fall into like a dystopian post-war society like adventure time, but that, that's just my theory of what's gonna happen. Put in a desk. What desk do I use? I don't recall. Do I use that one? Is that the one I use? Oh, I do use the Dream Home Decorator one. Wow, look at me go. That one's cute, I forgot about that. It's got the little decoration piece on the side with the markers in like the marker cup that's like built into the desk, which is cool. I really like that like built-in clutter feature because clutter is love, clutter is life. Everybody knows that. Gotta have a plant moment. I feel like in how, especially in houses or apartments that I build with industrial or modern vibes, they end up looking really cold and empty without some plants in there. Like, I feel like you have to have at least a little like pop of green from your plant or it just looks like sad and cold and not inviting at all. I use Dream Home Decorator again, of course. I had some trouble figuring out what to do with this other space. So I end up doing a little like front walk-in closet area, like where you take off your coat, coat closet vibes, that, that's the word. I'm new to the coat world. Uh, since moving to San Antonio from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, it's a completely different climate and it's like really cold here compared to Arizona. So I'm still used to the whole having to put on a big coat just to go outside, having an area to put your coats when you come inside. It's crazy, it's wild, it's weird for me. So I made like a coat rack section because you know I love a good coat rack. And I end up putting in like the world's tiniest living area. But I felt like having that office area with, uh, which I will in a minute here be adding like bookshelves and a, another wall to like separate it. I feel like that's a good entertainment area. And there's so much yard space. You could easily make like a backyard barbecue kind of zone for your Sims to entertain in. Whereas the living room space just didn't seem that important. And it is like a smaller house. It's not, it's no tiny home, but it is a little small. So there wasn't a ton of room to do all the stuff I wanted to do. And right here, I'm uh, doing that thing. You can do control F on your keyboard and it gives you like a quarter tile placement, which <laughs> life hack. Did you know that? Control F y'all. Now you know, you're welcome. I had a rug in the kitchen, but it looked stupid. So I ended up taking it out and putting in that one that's like uh, absorbs the impact or whatever like the ones they have in a professional kitchen it's good for your feet and back i feel like the person who lives here would be really like a chef sometimes or like they just like really like cooking like fancy meals for themselves that's the vibe this place gets off it's got a fancy meal vibe you know what i mean uh, i couldn't figure out what to do with the living room so you're gonna see me like going back and forth a lot like oh, i don't know what to do and figuring out where i wanted to put it because of the front door is like such this, such a big feature of this house. And I didn't want to sacrifice the aesthetic of the front door from the outside in order to have a bigger living room on the inside. So I ended up like kind of squeezing it in the corner there. Uh, it works out, it works out, it's fine. I did not play test this. So if you do download this, play test it and make sure to turn on move objects before placing it. You can find this and all my other builds from my other videos and streams in the description down below. You can find my gallery name. Almost all of my builds you're gonna wanna turn on move objects before placing because I do have it on 
all the time. Thanks to a mod by Twisted Mexi. Thanks, Twisted Mexi. You a real one, shouting out. Amazing mod. Amazing mod. It's He makes these mods and they're like, they do the cheats for you automatically and they give you build mode camera, which is god tier for us builders. Like, I don't think I could build without his mods at this point. Like, I'm so reliant on them. <laughs> And I hate when, like, it's patch day or something and they're not working for, like, a day while the modders, like, go to fix it, which, bless the mod, like, people out there, like, y'all are doing amazing work. But then it's like, oh no, I can't play with it, I'm so sad, I have to wait until they update it. They usually update pretty quickly, though, I will say. So if you want a really good stuff to enhance your Sims 4 building experience, Twisted Mexi has the bestest mods there is. I love it and I'm here for it. I put in some like mismatched bookshelves because I feel like it kind of gives more of a thrifty vibe. You know what I mean? Like they didn't just go to Ikea and get the same three bookshelves. They went and like found different ones at Goodwill or their local thrift, sto thrift store. Like for the earth, you know, to be like eco-friendly, eco-lifestyle, uh? 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 Anyone? No? No? Just me? Uh, put this wall in here, give it a little separation, gotta keep them separated, put some crates under there, because who doesn't love a good crate? Uh, I end up putting like decorations, I want, I feel like the people who lived here would be pretty artsy, but not like I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't have too many pictures of like family and friends just hanging up. They're, they would want something that's more like aesthetically pleasing. So I use these ones from... Do I use the ones from Tiny Living? Do I leave those there? Yeah, those are those are cute. The ones that came with Tiny Living. They come in a lot of really nice swatches. I love Tiny Living so much. It's such a good pack. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to fit the bed in here. I ended up putting it like against the wall right there next to the window. And I love, 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 love doing like black, white, gray, neutral stuff because I tried to get away from that for a while to kind of expand my building abilities and like see what other kinds of styles that I could pull off, which I kind of talked about this a little bit in my last video, I think, or was maybe on my stream, I don't remember. But now like going back to my favorite kind of building, which is, like either modern black and white or like industrial black and gray like it's kind of nice i never do it very much anymore i spent so many months years doing like cottages artsy vibes like colorful cute very different patterns and colors so it's kind of cool to go back to my roots back to where i belong my soul is happy my little goth soul is happy does it come in goth I want to do a goth wedding now that we have wedding pack. The wedding pack? Words are hard. I cannot speak today. And I want to make it like everything black. Black flowers, black dresses, everyone wearing black. Because if I ever had a wedding, it would be black on black on black. Because it's just, it's such a good color. It matches everything. Uh, threw a little bathroom in there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze where I put the clothing racks, but... I'm imagining like New York City vibes for this kind of house, so it's like limited on space. Because if you want to live in New York City, you can't have a lot of space. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Uh, the master bedroom's super cute. I think I end up putting an easel or something in the corner, just so they can have like more activities to do. Because the only other activities I think I put are the computer and the TV, like as far as fun like I should have added like a chess table or something oh uh, bookshelves bookshelves are fun reading is fun having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card see I think reading's fun some people would disagree I love reading I could read all day every day um I kept it simple with the, the decorations and I end up putting the string fairy lights all around the room which is Adorable. I used to do that in a lot of my builds when Parenthood first came out, which is where we got this string fairy light decoration. 
and in my opinion it makes a room look so cute and cozy and like you want to curl up with a big fuzzy blanket and pillows and watch your favorite TV and have hot cocoa and read a book and it's raining outside but you've got fuzzy socks on that's the vibe I'm getting off of this which it's like rainy out where I'm at today so like I kind of want to do all that like now that I'm saying it I want to do it you know what I mean this is the second bedroom which I imagine would either be for a roommate or a teen or I guess you could put a kid in there. I don't think I put toys though. Children generally like to play with toys. So I've been told I do not own a child, but I know friends who own children and apparently they enjoy playing with toys. I did when I was a kid. I love Barbies, Polly Pockets, and now I love Sims. Well, I, I loved Sims back then too. I've been a Simmer since the Sims 1 when I was a little baby. It's like virtual dollhouse. What's not to love? And then virtual, like, building. <laughs> I don't know. What would you call it? Actually, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an architect. And I almost, like, started a program for it, like, in college. But then I, like, looked into it when I, before I went to college to see what classes I would have to take. And it was a lot of math. <laughs> I don't do well with math. I'm more of a creative type. Uh, so I noped out on that one. I was like, mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's for me. Uh, put a little piano in here, a little fun activity to do, kind of, you know, give some variety to the Sims. Maybe they like fashion, fashion sweetie. Ever heard of it? Uh, I do want to remind you all to give me a follow on all my other socials, which you can be found in the description down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all the fun stuff. If you want to watch me on Twitch, I'm streaming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Friday is my usual schedule, which I usually start between like 5 to 8 p.m. Central Time. I've been doing a little bit of earlier streams the past few streams just because we had the wedding pack come out, and when there's a new pack, I get excited and I want to play it right away, and I don't want to wait until like the usual stream time to play with all the new stuff, and I'm like, I need to play it now. But usually that is the time, central time. Feel free to do your conversions. I don't exactly know how to do the conversions. I would have to Google it. But I am gonna be streaming possibly today, maybe tomorrow. You never know, just we'll see what happens. Uh, put a little plant there, you know, spice it up a bit. The landing is a little sad. I didn't get to decorate it too much. I put a table in there with like a plant on it, which you just saw, but I don't know. I feel like it needs something, something more. It needs to, some pizzazz, some jazz hands. You know what I mean? Uh, put in this tree. I didn't want to give it too much landscaping because I feel like it's more of a city vibes kind of house. So I like, I don't think it would have wild landscaping. I think it would have really carefully like kept up with, you know, like HOA kind of vibes. Very, very little landscaping, but still cute, still cute. Look at me remembering a trash can and a mailbox. Let's go. Self high five. I'm doing great. I actually really like this house. If I were to have a house IRL, this is kind of the vibe I would want for my house. And I, I don't know. It's just so like clean and fresh and beautiful. I end up doing, changing this like path thing and like putting a fence around it so it looks more defined and complete. And I had to change the shape of it because you can't go to the edge of the lot. Boo, Sims, hello. Please let us go to the edge of the lot. <laughs> but um, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, click the like, comment, share it with your friends, do all that fun stuff. Don't forget you can download this from my gallery name, which is in the description down below. Turn on move objects before doing so and stick around for some screenshots at the end after the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.